Hi, welcome back to the annual inspection series. Today we're going to be covering the landing gear system of the FG1D Corsair. So the mechanics here have been busy at work inspecting and testing the landing gear system. And today we're going to do a gear swing and explain a couple of things on the FG1D landing gear system. So at this point, what we know is that the wheels and brakes uh, have been inspected, cleaned and adjusted and are back on for good. The landing gear has been cleaned and lubed and inspected and we're ready to do our functionality tests. Some things that we look for on the Corsair are in the front here is what we call a shrink strut. And so how the gear operates is due to the design, the landing gear actually pivots as it retracts so that it will fit in the short space inside the wing. And as the gear pivots, the length of the strut needs to be shorter and that's what this shrink strut does. It collapses the strut so that it will effectively fit inside the gear, the gear well, excuse me. Um, next what happens is all landing gear have a sequence. And so I'll turn the light on here and if you can look up in here, you'll see what we call a sequence valve. And most airplanes have one of these. And what that does is when the landing gear is retracted, it hits this plunger and that tells the landing gear doors that cover the gear that it's okay to close. And so the sequence is really important. So what we do is, is we retract the gear and make sure that that sequence is operating correctly. While the gear is retracted, we check the fit of the gear doors and make sure that uh, nothing is hanging up or snagging and that the clearances are really good. One thing that is unique to the Corsair is this block. It's a wooden block in the back of the wheel well. And if you notice, there's a nice film of grease on there. And the purpose of that block is related to the shrink strut we talked about earlier. Sometimes that shrink strut, if it's adjusted too tightly or not working correctly, can break. And if that happens, as you know, the, the landing gear is under pressure and it will want to extend inside the gear well. And then there would be no way to get the gear down if it were stuck against the, the, the structure itself or the spar here. Um, so what this does, you can see that it's a wedge, it's kind of triangulated and it has grease. The tire would effectively be on the block and with the blow down system, the emergency system that would force the gear down, this allows the landing gear to escape below this point at which time it could extend the strut and then continue the gear extension. Next, we'll walk back to the tail and talk about that and then we'll see a live gear swing. So checking the tail gear is just as important as the main gear. And there's a lot going on back here. Just because there's one and it's smaller doesn't mean that there's less going on. Oftentimes there's a lot going on. With the Corsair, uh, as you can see down here, the, the tail hook is actually part of the landing gear system. And so that tail hook on, on the forward end of it actually moves every time the landing gear moves. And you'll see that in the video as well. And then uh, when you look inside here, you'll notice the uh, gear doors are actuated uh, by linkage and chain, which is a little bit different. It's Okay, so let's move back to the front of the airplane and watch our first gear swing. Gear up. Thank you. 
Okay, so you can see as we talked about with the landing gear up, now you can check the fit of all of these doors and make sure that there's no chafing on the wing skin or with each other, uh, including the doors. This is kind of an intersection where three landing gear doors come together. Uh, you want to make sure that the seals are, are good and sealing, um, that the gap seal up front is not too tight or too loose. And uh, as I said, the guys have already inspected this gear and uh, everything seems to be good. So we'll go ahead and watch the gear come down. Gear down. down. So thanks for joining us during the landing gear inspection and retraction test for the Corsair here at FHCAM. And stay tuned for the next episode when we wrap up the annual inspection, test out the systems, and do our engine test run and taxi test. See you then.